when working on site, there's various occasions where we'll actually come up to a different height in a, a doorway. Now we're fitting a stretch fit carpet on this, this floor and you can see there we've actually got quite a, a depth with these. Stair rods have actually got the easy shim system. Now the easy shims, these will accommodate any floor covering for the height of up to 40 mil. You've got the 6 mil shims, the 9 mil, the 12 and the 15 and they all come in packs of 10. Now as you can see there that gives me a straight gradient up to that floor covering but we will be coming away from the doorway as well. And it's what I've done beforehand is I've actually cut myself a side shim. Now you can produce these side shims out of actually just using a, a shim itself and one shim will produce two side shims if you've got quite a, a wall that's further away that side. For more information on this and to see how this is done check the video in the link below. Now, so what I need to do first is need to just check what my height is. So just using the stair rods drop checker, I can bring that down. We can see there that's given me a height of 21 mil. I already know the products I'm working with. I've got a 10 mil carpet and I'm actually going to be using stair rods Geordie gripper, which is 9 mil, just to give it a nice smooth transition through the doorway. So that 10 and that 9 gives us 19. The shim at 6 mil obviously produces a little bit more but the carpet is quite compressible so once it comes up to the actual tile itself it will give it a nice smooth transition through. When installing the shim I'm just going to run through this in three stages. I'll get my doorway cut first between the two door checks. The right hand side I'm going to cut roughly but which will be commercially acceptable and I'm going to spend more time on the left hand side just to show you two different ways of, of doing it. This side will be more attention to detail. It all depends on which way you work, but I feel attention to detail just produces a, a better installation overall. Now you don't need any fantastic tools to do this. So what I'll do is I'll just bring it up to the door check that side and just put a rough mark on the shim just there. I can just use the side shim as a straight edge score that. As it's only MDF it will cut quite easily. Just really want to score it. Break that bit off and then just tidy that edge up there. And that should fit into there like so. If you do get a slight gap down the side, it's not a major problem as long as it's not going to affect the actual installation of the gripper rod. So the right hand side, again I'm just going to measure that roughly, put a mark on there for the width, and again just using the, the side shim and cut that down. Tidy the edge up. That fits just into that point there. So it's what I'll do with that one. If I turn that around, bring that up to the architrave, put a quick mark on the shim there. Cut that down, a pair of rubber shears, that fall into place there. The important thing is having that feather edge in line with each other. When it comes to the, the left hand side, I can take my side shim, bring it roughly into position just to make life a little bit easier. masking tape to hold those together. I'm just going to use the edge of the, the shim there, bring it up 
to where it makes a skirting board. Then just using a bit of LVT, I'm just going to mark the points where the arc drive changes shape. Skirting board just there. Like so. So I've got the marks just on there. Now what I want to do with these is extend them down. These are my reference lines. And so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to back mark off of the the obstacle itself so key thing to remember with this is to actually have a back marker that's big enough if it was too small obviously I wouldn't be able to to mark it out and is a back marker is anything with two parallel edges so I can now use this to mark up along that point there just mark different sections that point there is already on so I don't need the, the reference line on that one if I want to get the depth of it I can just drop that through that point there so now it's a little bit of artistic license here just drawing the shape of the architrave onto the actual piece itself once that's done I can then just follow my lines Any small bits, push the knife through, and just freehand these bits. These small straight cuts, we can just use the gripper shears again. the edges up slide down to position you can see there again the feather edge is nicely in line it's put the gradient that way and the gradient this way so as the gripper comes up it give it a nice even transition no gaps around there and it just looks a lot better once we've got the shims in position it now comes to the fixing side of things for mechanical fixings, steroids recommend either ring shank nails or screws. If you're working on a solid substrate, then you need to use the appropriate adhesive and primer, but always consult manufacturer beforehand. When I put the fixings in, is what I want to make sure is I put a row of fixings underneath where the grip rod's going to sit. That's the point that's going to take most stress on this installation. Another row of fixings on the bottom edge will keep this nice and flat. If the floor is slightly uneven, then you may want to put even more fixings in across there. The same rules apply to the side shims as well. I'm going to position the fixings. About every 150 mil. There's two little fixings won't secure the shim enough. Run 
cutting along the bottom edge. Couple in the side shims. As mentioned before, I'm going to be using steroids Geordie Gripper. But whenever you're installing Gripper, make sure you install it to industry standards. Leaving the correct gully. I've got the underlay installed. I've just put some single-sided cloth tape in the doorway just to make sure the underlay stays in position because I don't want any unnecessary fixings across a walkway. Now I'll drop our carpet to position. I'll put my relief cuts in. Same as the, the grip rods itself, just make sure that you're installing the carpet to industry standards. Once I've rough cut those down, just crease it on. I can now stretch into position. Now I just need to stretch onto the, the gripper itself in the doorway, storm a crease. Once we're stretched on, just check your tension. Now I can just trim the carpet in. Once carpets trimmed, just tuck it away. Make sure you don't release any pressure of the, the gripper rod. Once we've got the carpet tucked, you can see the finish just there. Even though it's slightly higher in regards to the millimetres, it does give it a nice smooth transition through to that doorway. That will compress down and give you a nice level surface. In regards to the actual architrave themselves, you can see from the, the video that it doesn't actually have a detrimental effect if you cut the easy shims roughly or with the attention to detail side of things. As long as you've got the consistent gully with the gripper, it'll still give you a nice finish all the way around.